<clears throat> so go a little sign like this. That's a fiat. As you can hear, that is the rooster over in Cape Coast, Ghana. What's up, everyone? This is Jay Stokes, your gracious co-host of the Atypical Voices in Our Time, a.k.a. Aviat Podcast, the official podcast of Chemistry Productions, a media education company. So, um, in case you missed last week's episode, Jay Random, our other gracious co-host, actually stated that I'd be traveling over to Cape Coast, Ghana this week right here. Therefore, we're not going to be having a official show. So, instead we decided to put together a best of Aviat compilation. So here you're going to hear some funny snippets and bits from our previous 23 shows of the Aviat podcast. Hope you all enjoy. First of all, I'd like to apologize because two shows ago I said, where's the Me Too movement? And they must have heard because all of a sudden I see them all the time now. So i like to apologize. <laughs> you, know, you guys, I'm sorry, you women were working. I just didn't see it. No, no, so, and, and but, guys. Guys are part of the Me Too movement yeah. also. What are you talking exactly. about? Exactly. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. The person that shot them up, that um, that did this hate crime, he's been shot charged. In, yeah, yeah, that's why I had to change it up because sometimes I, I break back and forth into ebonic talk and all that. I was like, wait a minute. I got them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That sounds like Sorry, me. I, gotta, I, have to, I have to cleanse. I have to cleanse my, cleanse my, my vernacular. Cleanse, cleanse my, uh, my speech. I know we so random and it's so funny. Just real quick, uh, because uh, uh, I and Jay Stokes or Jay Stokes and I, we were talking I think last week, and I bought this whole production. I got me a mic stand. I got a got speakers, and guess what I'm calling y'all on. A phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't want. Because, no, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't want a man. I don't want a woman that, that had a penis before. I don't want it. I don't want it. But I don't and want that's it. what I'm saying though. When you say I don't you say I prefer it. women, but that's the thing. Take when you say I prefer women, go somewhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, someone pays for these crimes because this is indeed ridiculous. Children shouldn't have to be suffering by the hands of these higher officials. And another thing I wanted to mention, when it comes to churches in general or, or people with religious backgrounds in high positions, we have to be aware of these individuals abusing their power. It's never a good thing to use religion as a way to influence people in a negative manner. So for a priest, it's not a great thing, well, it's a terrible thing to use that position as an excuse to say, oh, well, let me touch these kids or let me do whatever I want to these kids. You're using this book because I assume they follow the Bible. I'm not Catholic, but they're using whatever religious text they have in order to justify what they're doing. No, 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 no. It's, it's so wrong on so many levels for you to be thinking that you're going to church to be saved or to hear the word as black people say, or to read the scripture or whatever the case may be and why you go to church and instead you're being uh, molested. It's not cool. So I feel like if you are one of those priests that are involved in molesting kids, then you should definitely go to jail. Maybe there needs to be a black media hub, like a, a place that yeah. people go and they say, all right, black media, can you create some media to, to um, gear towards black people for us? And then they just create media like Dude. that instead of having these white only yeah, corporations so, do it. Yeah, how hard is that? How hard is that? Give us the job. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll do it well, too. Uh, you know? Sure Listen, will. We'll never mess up like Gat. Wasn't it Gat with the monkey, the only monkey in the room? Who was that? No, that's H&M. That, H&M. Uh, H&M. H&M. Coolest, yeah, monkey I mean, in come the, on. coolest monkey in the yard yeah. or something like that. Yeah, I also like, fault the parents man. too, come man. On. I also fault the parents. Like, why are the yeah. parents allowing their child to have that on? All for a check. Yeah, no, I know. All for a check, man. That's what I tell you. A lot of people don't have morals, man. A lot of people are hurting. But you have, but you have to have. But I'm sorry, but you have to stand for something, or you'll fall for anything. You know, you could work out and still look like a female. Or you could work out and look like a bodybuilder female. Those two are different. Because you even said it yourself in, in our personal conversation. 
It's not that grand to date a female with a six pack. You said it yourself. Not that sexy. I didn't say that. What? I, what? Yes, you did. What? Oh my God! The lies you on did. the air. I never said something like that. No. What? The truth. The truth. Listen. What? If, listen. If this show, if this show was five days, we could go. I can, I can jog your memory. But you know, we go. But you know, but we're gonna play for gifts. What are you me. talking about? So we can move on. Whatever, Trevor. People out there, whatever your comments are on this matter, please call in. The number to call in is 646-668-8398. For the record, I think that women of all shapes and sizes are beautiful. Six-pack, I think, is fine. <laughs> I don't know where random is getting this from. Um, no, no. Yeah, random said, must be having some random uh, thoughts. Date, date. No, Jay Stokes said, date a woman with a uh, six-pack is not that attractive. Hey, what? Hey. Are you serious? Hey, you said it. Oh, no. I said never it. said that. I you never said, said that. Listen. Uh, uh, said it. Uh, let's oh, no, let's no, move no, on. No, no. I swear before a judge right it. now, I never said that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Random. 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 So with um, the uh, Anita Hill case back in 1991, I think it was, Jay Stokes? Uh, I, I so, uh, <laughs> 91, 92, 91, 92. No problem. Hey, listen, listen, listen. It is what it is, right? As long as we get the facts right before we end. It. Hey, what is going on, everybody? I'm your gracious co-host, Jay Stokes, joined by um, my other co-host on this show, Mr. Jay Random. This is AVI, yo, yo, Atypical yo. Voices in Our Time. Jay, what you, you just killed my whole intro, man. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. I had to jump back on. You know how to mute the mic real quick. But if you look in research, if you look in different studies, you see that black people are always at the bottom of the totem pole in every area of society. And, and people could throw in the Hispanic community, but they forget that Hispanic is not a race. Hispanic is an ethnicity. So Hispanic encompasses different races. So you can have a black Hispanic or a black Latino, Latina, a white Hispanic, a white Latino, Latina. So that's why that even those numbers are a little off. Cool. So listen. So let's talk about something else then. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so, so did you hear how, uh, how they said that uh, Bill Cosby's first meal had jello pudding with it? Oh, snap. <laughs> this is respectful, man. No He's gonna have no, no chill. chill. <laughs> na, 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 na. I like to, I like to think of Thanksgiving as a time that uh, I can be, uh, I can reflect on the goodness that has happened in my life, all of my uh, various accomplishments, successes, and achievements, and all of my family that's still around me. Obviously, we should feel like that every day, but that's how I look at Thanksgiving now. I don't celebrate it for the pilgrims or whatever they were, the, the European settlers that came over here and got to live. Uh, how do you view Thanksgiving, Jay Random? Days off. That's <laughs> all I care about. All I care about is my days off, man. Yo, oh, my that's goodness. That is not surprising keep, at all. I'm keeping it. I am keeping it 100. I care about the days off. You know, I, I, uh, I definitely enjoy uh, hanging out with the family until they get on my nerves. So I have a yep. problem with, with, with stand your ground when Melissa Alexandra, she <laughs> was in an argument name, with... Uh, <laughs> what's her name? Melissa? What's Mar- her name? Mar- Marissa Alexandra. Marissa. <laughs> Mar- yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were right. I tore that name up. <laughs> and we're sitting here in that. And what we must always remember is that me too was actually started by a black woman named Tarana Burke. And for some, some of you might be saying, why do we need to even bring that up? Why does it care? Who cares who started the Me Too movement as long as it's going on and women are getting justice and men are being brought to justice for doing these horrible things to women? It shouldn't matter who started it. But I say this. Um, in a lot of cases... When we have movements like this, a lot of black women are pushed to the back. Ooh. We need to go back to courting our mates. Uh, right. Learning learning who they are. Learning. Cause let me tell you something. Everybody, you can tell the truth about everybody if you just sit back and watch. Be more right. observant. 
be more analytical in who you're dating because right. uh, I think if we do that, then we don't have to start going with this PC. Do you mind if I kiss you? Do you mind if I stroke your back? Hey, do you mind if I reach over? I'm only grabbing the fries. I'm sorry I touched your boob. <sighs> sorry. No, I, I just didn't want Gannon. Yeah, I didn't want Gannon, which is Bridgeport mayor, to be to be governor. So if he even got past Ned Lamont, I was not going to fudge. I was going to say I wasn't going to vote for him, but I definitely, I'm definitely not voting for a Republican. So I don't know how that would work. So thank God I didn't have that scenario didn't come through because I'm like, fudge, wait a minute. <laughs> That's your thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, I understand uh, them being in, in these positions. Uh, I don't want to say high positions. In these positions where they're making laws and they're and they're voting on laws they obviously can't be in the public space all the time but I, at least make an effort if you're supposed to be for the people you i need to see you I, I need to see you like i need you to see you community i need to see you talking to some people the people that you're passing mm-hmm. laws for you should at least put a face to the legislation you know what i mean mm-hmm. so no i agree but uh, that's, you see them you know you see them holidays thanksgiving parade <laughs> The Christmas parade, July, okay. Christopher Columbus Day. <laughs> oh, that you is see so them. cliche. That is so cliche. But think about it. Think that about it. So though. You only see them. But think about it. You only see them on holidays. <laughs> if it's a parade, nah, nah. they're there. So I don't know. Nah, nah. Uh-uh. <laughs> so uh-uh. To be honest with you, I vote for you, but that's you know, I, uh, you know, listen. Oh. You know, I feel like uh, men should hit men and women should hit women. That's it. It should be no, now, no, we can't, we can't cross. <laughs> Let's talk about Miss Nicki Minaj, the famous rapper, uh, Miss Nicki Minaj. And in the top it off, for her to be like, I called Travis Scott and I told him, you know, you're not number one. What? Like, well, wait, wait, come yeah. Yo, if I was Travis, I hung up on her, man. Like, yo, she on something. Yeah. Let me hang up with this bird. I mean, she act like a bird, like, you hot. hot it's like it's like yo, how you a queen, but you acting like a peasant? Like, calm down. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed what you've been hearing so far. Right now, we're gonna take a brief commercial break, so stay tuned. Are you a fan of certain trends happening in media today? Do you enjoy popular music, television shows, movies, social networking? Well, in that case, this ad is definitely for you. Chemistry Productions has a segment on its YouTube channel called Ruining Your Faves. There we look at popular media and we break it down. We look at it on an academic scholarly level. So if you have a song that you like that's on the Billboard Hot 100, we're going to ruin it. (laughs) But seriously, definitely check us out and we're sure to educate and entertain you at the same time. That's K3MISTRY Productions. Check out our YouTube channel. All right, now let's get back into the show. All right, I'm saying we're suffering from the remnants of this past weekend. Jay Random and I went to Las Vegas to celebrate Jay Random's birthday. Jay Random, you care to tell the audience about what happened over there and how you feel? Um, no, I feel good, and it was just fun. <laughs> it was one of those uh, trips that you say, wow, this was definitely fun. I couldn't ask for anything else. I couldn't ask for anything more. Fun trip. Uh, fun uh, people that came. Atmosphere was good. Every day was a party, and w- without the party, you know, every day was a drinking day. Well, Friday was out. Friday I was out of commission, but uh, Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday I was good to go. But Friday, mm-mm, mm-mm. party too hard on Thursday. So, you know, technically we, technically you and I, we had the same amount of drinking days. I had Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. You had Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three days. Except, so, except nah. I was never out of commission. Except I was never well, out of commission. Understand. Good. Doesn't matter if you in or out. At the end of the day, you had three. I had three. So, right, right. Whatever. The math is three, three. And, <laughs> and for the youngins out there that are listening, drink responsibly. <laughs> yeah. Um, drink responsibly, or only get sick in your room. Uh-huh. My day was going all right Jay Random but I think I just got my car towed and I gotta run to get it at some point pretty soon yeah I hear you on that and the bugged out part is wasn't I asking you today yo how's the car working out for you 
<laughs> that, no, you you are a demon. You are a demon in disguise, okay? You are a demon oh, in disguise. Man. How are you going to ask that? Listen, my car was fine. <laughs> my car was fine. Then, oh, how's your car doing? Then all of a sudden. How's the car involved. doing? <laughs> uh. na, 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 na. I agree. I totally agree. Because I definitely see, see once again, I, you know, I totally agree. Because I prefer women. Now you can't call me a trans of what what what, what the hell tra- transphobia what's it called? Trans- <laughs> trans- transphobia. I, I, That's not like a country. <laughs> yeah, I made a new word. Up. Uh, no, no. transphobia. What they call? Yo, what, what, yo, what? yo. Oh. I actually wanted to highlight President Donald J. Trump. <clears throat> I still have a cough because of this stupid cold that will not go away. I fell asleep with the AC on like a couple of weeks back and. I'm just suffering every day trying to get over it. But that's besides the point. So for our first story, President Donald J. Trump, he's in the news as usual. I mean, he is the president. But this time, it's for something that's terribly, terribly, terribly wrong. Well, that's not surprising either, but that's besides the point. (laughs) The only time it's not going down is if you're not attractive, and then it is not going down. (laughs) If you're uh, old nah, and wrinkled. Just put, nah, put some drink put some drinks to some dudes, it don't matter. <laughs> Yo, man, listen, if it wasn't on the radio, I'll tell you that I <laughs> I wish I could tell you that story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that story about how those beer goggles are dangerous. Gotta watch Yo, out. We need to do goggles. like an after I think we talked about it before. We need to do like an after dark show. We should do one like PC and then the other one after dark. <laughs> Yo, that sounds good to me because, you know, like I said, again, we got the time, you know, we know we are, you know, we can. Yeah. So, you know, we could definitely think about it. That'll be real good. When opportunities are being provided for black people and other people of color, white people believe that's reverse racism on them because it's taking away opportunities from them. Does that make sense? Okay. Makes sense. But understand this. Okay. If rules and regulations wasn't put into place, believe me, I'm telling you, I work in the corporate world. A lot of things, a lot of opportunities wouldn't be given if that wasn't put into play. I'm telling you, because you see it now. You know, it's like I I hate to talk too much about my job, so I won't because I go to work tomorrow, but I see it. When I, you know, stand your ground yeah. does not mean... I'm going to start a fight. I get my butt whooped, and then I'm going to pull out my weapon and kill you. That is not stand your ground. Stand your ground is the person that's being harassed, a.k.a. Uh, Trayvon. He stood his ground. Gotcha. For anybody living underneath the rock. So I'm going to mess the guy's name up, so please, by all means, say the reporter name. Oh, Lord. <laughs> See, I'm a <laughs> Let, let me let me do some let me do some uh, research right quick. I forgot the boy, <laughs> not the boy. I forgot the man's name too. Um, uh, of course, Ray, Rayida, Ray, Ray, Rayida. Damn, um, no, what, no, Jay no, Silk, that's Jamal, no, Jamal. Jamal that's it. Uh, Kosh, 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 it's Kosh, 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 no, Koshogi, Koshogi. Kosh, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Whatever. Jamal. No, 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 no. Last week we had a mishap when we were talking about uh, journalist Jamal Kasoji, who was actually a journalist yes. for the Washington Post, who was killed over yes. in Saudi Arabia. Is that correct? He was killed in Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Um, he was no, killed no, by Turkey. Saudi... Turkey. 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 My, I... my mistake. Yeah, um, Turkey, yeah. Yes, um, yes. Allegedly, he was killed. He was uh, the, the hit or the kill on him the hit on him or his murder was or, uh, orchestrated by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman and uh, yep. that, that those are the rumors that are going out right now last week i was like out of it i didn't know anything what was going on but i took the week to try <laughs> and prepare myself for this episode right here so good job last good job. week uh, yeah right 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 i had to get it together 
So once again, you are tuned into Atypical Voices in Our Time, a.k.a. Aviat, the official podcast of Chemistry Productions. That's spelled K-3-M-I-S-T-R-Y, in case you were wondering. Now, we've mentioned it many times before on this podcast, but Chemistry Productions actually owns two subsidiaries. One is a book publishing company called Dokta, that's spelled D-O-E-K-T. A-H. And the other subsidiary is actually a record label called Conchess Records. That's C-O-N hyphen C-H-E-S-S hyphen records. Now with Conscious Records, we actually released a, well, the Conscious Records record label actually released a single not too long ago called Meet the Press. And that was produced by Jay Random, the other co-host of this podcast, his son, Scotty Beats. So everybody just sit back relax and enjoy the song Plus alimony and child support Go back in my bag, pull out a fag Dealing with stress, a pain in my chest Seeing a doc, he got a tumor Chemo was next, I'm cutting a check Insurance is bugging, they don't do nothing Check out my grandma, school was fronting Out on my own, out of my home Facing eviction, I can't afford Broken wings, so I'm flipping the bird Playing the lotto, lost for words Flashback to your childhood Flashback to when life was full Only me, the press Me, the press Turn tables, go back in time The tables turned, your life was full Only me, the press Me, the press New adults yeah. say screw it all, keep getting screwed yeah, by pit yeah, when we meet the press. Meet the press. Documenting like journalists, yeah. finger on the pulse yeah, of the occurrence. That's when we meet the press. Meet the press. For days I've been wondering if there's a catch. Going through drama, I'm breaking a sweat. More like a pool, I'm heavily drenched. What are the rules? My energy spent. Keep it a hundred, I think it's a hex. Bibbity bobbity thoughts in my head. Pick up a pistol and fill it with lead. Let it go off, I'd rather be dead. Suicide, a quick push to the end. A coward's approach, becoming a ghost. Man, I don't give up to hell with the urge. Finger down my throat and I purge. Stormy weather gonna clear soon. Temporary struggle, I assume. Not the one to crumble, though I'm hurt. Wipe my eyes and then I go to work. Flashback to your childhood. Flashback to when life was good. We meet the press. Meet the press. Turn tables, go back in time. The tables turned, your life was fine. We meet the press. Meet the press. New adults say screw it all. Keep getting screwed by pit. That's when we meet the press. Meet the press. Documenting like journalists, finger on the pulse of the occurrence. That's when we meet the press. Meet the press. So that was Meet the Press, performed by Memo. That's spelled M-E-M-O. You can find that on a music streaming service near you. That's Tidal, Google Play, Spotify, iTunes. Now, back to the show. Hey, will you hear something funny? What's up? I, yo, that's, that's, that's uh, mind-boggling. But also, did you hear 
how women now have a problem with that song "It's Cold Outside." Yes, yes, I heard about that because they said it was encouraging that? Um, you, rape. Mm-hmm. Do you understand how long that song has been out? Only thing, I, only thing I hear is duh, 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 cold outside. I mean, I don't listen to anything else. So, like, come on, man. I just well, think this is the thing. People need to understand. There was a point in time where men had to chase women, and women liked that. So, exactly. If women don't like that now, then that's one thing. But there was a point in time where that was acceptable. I think there should be an unwritten rule that past songs, um, if they came from a good place then they shouldn't be touched. You just look at it as a timestamp. That was the time. So if you want a better song now, make I a better agree. song now. I agree. But to but to protest and not play it, it's like, come on, guys. What are we doing here? What's her name? Ariana Grande? I'm thinking about it. Yes. Uh, um, yeah. So but is she really that big? So that's yes. why I'm like, I don't know. At the know. moment. Oh, okay. At the moment, she okay. is. Yeah, at the moment, she's she probably bigger yeah. now. Probably big now, getting groped on TV, but uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I even, like I even heard on uh Vice News that same episode that I was watching about uh it has something to do with uh sexual assaulted uh women. They one of the women was saying that men should start asking, like, is it okay if I kiss you? Is it okay if I touch your leg? Is it okay if I caress your hair? Well, what the hell is that all about? You don't understand how much, like, think about it, Jay Stokes. That's such, I mean, come on. Imagine if you got, like, an aggressive woman. You're like, hey, do you mind if I kiss you? She's like, this is a lame ass ass dude. Hey, do you mind if I caress your back? Hey, do you mind if I lean in and stroke your hair? <laughs> I don't mean like, to laugh. Oh. <laughs> but, but I don't mean no, to dude, laugh. This is, this is what one of the, laugh, the, the I, I know. This is, the way, this is what the one of the people. It, <laughs> Papa John. Mm-hmm. Oh, Papa John. I thought you said Avion. I thought you said Avion. I'm like, Avion, alcohol? Oh, Papa John. <laughs> What's his real name? What's his real name? What's his real his name? His name is John uh, Shatner. John Shatner. You filthy punk. Yeah. Understand, yeah, that so... word is ours, man. But, you know, say it, right? I mean, say it, though. My bad. Say it. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Just put my government all out there. Anyway. <laughs> So, um, pretty much, nah. <laughs> the, as the story as the story goes, you don't want me to look at you sexually, but you call yourself a slut and you're available and you're available sexually. You know, you know what I mean? It, it's 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 confusing. You're right. It is confusing. It is confusing because the word slut does not seem. It didn't, last time I checked, it's not a positive word. It's not a that's not an empowering word. That's a uh, uh, derogatory. Uh, not so flattering uh, word, you know. It's not like I could go to work tomorrow and see my boss say, "Hey, what's up, slut?" No, slut is not a good word. I'll get fired, may get punched in the face. So, um, as you know, what the, the slut walk is about as dumb as black people who like I'm empowering us, so I'm gonna say the n word. No, yeah, no, and not empowering anything. You look like you sound like a moron. Stop it. Just don't use the word. Don't promote it. I I feel the same way about the N-word, and I feel the same way about this slut walk. Na, 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 na. Yes, for everyone, I'm pretty sure we spoke about it probably in one of our shows about that James Brown. I'm James Brown. <laughs> that um <laughs> That LeBron James new show. I know. That LeBron James new show, The Shop. They don't care. Listen, people just like the sport, man. If you got dirty old men, they like the sports because of the uh, those short dresses. Like everybody have they, you know, every, you know, everybody have their reason why. <laughs> I like it because I just like the actual sport of tennis. I like it. So you think you know? You so think Serena, you think if Serena, you think if Serena is out of tennis, you think it's still as popular as it is today? Yes. Yes. And why? I wish we because had it's a all caller. about. Oh, we need a caller. I wish we had a caller oh, too. Hey, listen. Call. Any call callers who's six, listening, six, four, six, please. Six four yes. six 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 eight eight three nine eight. I want to say, uh, Kanye West, you are not welcome 
in Wakanda. <laughs> we don't care. We don't care that you've been used by Candace. You should already know you've been used by Candace and everybody else. You're not welcome, Wakanda. And your clothes aren't selling. Deuces. You suck. And that look kind of chunky, but that's about it. I mean, but she's always had a thicker neck. Oh, she had a rubber neck? Oh, that was the worst. <laughs> oh I'm not understanding. I, <laughs> I, I am not saying anything politically incorrect on this show. Yeah. What, Listen, rubber neck? We over here trying to speak about media literacy. This dude over here, Fat Jamin. Talking about rubber neck. Listen, no, rubber I said rubber neck. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's a rubber neck? Uh, man. What's a rubber neck? You know, uh, you know, a rubber neck. I ain't going to go into it because then, it, then, it, then it's going to be shaming. There's a lot of rubber necks around here. <laughs> you know? All right. So it doesn't have to do with her weight. So that doesn't have to do with her weight. That just has to do with the design, her anatomical design. What, rubber neck? Or Everybody, see that next Halloween. Wednesday? Happy Halloween. <laughs> Halloween over now. I let a mofo knock on my door if they want to. I'm throwing water on them. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the best of atypical voices in our time aka aviat the official podcast of chemistry productions spelled k3m-i-s-t-r-y a media education company we hope you all enjoyed it and we will see you next week this is your co-host jay stokes jay random is not here obviously because i'm in another country <laughs> but we'll see you soon bye <clears throat> so go a little sign like this. That's A-V-R.